They also made news at the Sloan Sports Analytics Conference. Team owner Jeannie Buss was asked about the team's struggles. She blamed the media for the reporting on the failed pursuit of Anthony Davis. Here's what she said. There was a lot of, of hype and, and um, things written about a potential trade leading into the trade deadline. And um, all of it falls, um, but it got a lot of coverage. And, you know, there's, there's damage that's done to team chemistry when players have to read about all this. That is, um, you know, to me, it's, it's irresponsible and frustrating. Okay. She also, in another panel, said the biggest challenge for us is the fake news about how we were supposedly trading our entire roster for a certain player, which is completely not true. But these stories leak out and it hurt our young players. It wasn't fair. I, I want to bring this to the table. What do you make of all of that, Jay Williams? First off, just because you disagree with something doesn't make it fake news. That's number one, okay? And that's on a whole bigger picture that we can get into, not for this show. And secondly, you won 16 world championships as a Lakers organization. Of course, there's going to be conjecture out there because most of news this day, to this day is opinionated. It's subjective. People are going to tell you what they think you should do. But don't go against a guy like Woj, who we all know him and Adam Schefter are two of the best at their jobs as far as getting information. And the reality is, that is what happened to your team. That's not the, the media's fault. That's the way internally they handle it. That's their fault. And, and no one is surprised by it. No one is necessarily blaming them for it. The circumstances are what the circumstances are. Here's the problem as I see it, Jay Williams. That if Jeannie Buss is telling the truth, then absolutely everything we think happened over the course of the last month or so in the NBA is wrong. Do you believe that? Because hmm. I do not. I don't want to sit here and call her a liar. I don't know her. But at the end of the day, do you know who knows if she's lying? All the players in that locker room. Yep. All those guys know. If this stuff was fake news, you don't think that it would have been stamped down somewhere along the way? Every single, every act of behavior that has taken place from the moment Anthony Davis made it clear he wanted to be traded has added up to all of this reporting being true. Is it possible that little tiny morsels of it are untrue? Sure. Uh, as part of it, perhaps inaccurate, sure. But the notion that they were looking to put together a huge trade package and that it included most of their young, talented players is not fake news. And they know that. And Greeny, everybody else can read through this, okay? This was premeditated. The actual question was, do athletes need the media? She didn't answer the question. Yeah. She spun to answer yeah. something that she wanted to talk about, which tries to tell me as a fan, oh, you're just trying to get your narrative across. Yeah, and I get why that would be on her mind, but what's her advantage in doing this? What, why go out and say all of this? Because I agree with you, Greeny. I think, if anything, this hurts the young players more because they're sitting there watching it saying, well, that's not true. We yeah. know that we were going to be And you know what the right spin on, on it is, Laura? If you say, you know what, we handled that in the wrong manner. We need to be better at Great. that, and we're going to work on that moving forward, and we owe an apology to our players. Yeah. That would have made the players fight for you a little bit more than trying to come out and saying all this is fake.